What's up, my case is Diaz. So we are in Denver right now. Look at this fancy schmancy hotel we're staying at. This is the super cool swim bus. That's Chow right there. Yeah. <laughs> He's hibernating. <laughs> Fanny pack gang. All right, so today is a pretty big day, a pretty fat day. We're in Thornton, Thornton, Thor Thorntonton. I don't know. It's a place in Denver, but I'm here for a pretty big swim meet, a pretty fat swim meet. It's called State. It's like the last swim meet of the swim season. As most of you guys know, because I said in a video before, I'm a swimmer. I just started swimming again this year, and I joined the swim team in my school. And yeah, our relay team qualified for State, so I'm gonna be swimming in it. Yeah, this is my friend Griffin. He's one of the alternatives, cause you know. Shut he, up. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But yeah, so right now we're at King Supers, which is like the local like Walmart of Colorado. Okay, Not Walmart. People, people know what King Supers is. Like, really? I've never heard of King Supers yeah, before okay, Colorado. Stupid. All right, whatever. We're just getting snacks and then we're probably gonna go get like Subway or something. Yeah, go back to the meat, so. It blows because we have to be healthy. That sucks. Wish we could not be healthy. All right, what's up, my quesadilla? So today, oh wait, I had a fat pimple this whole video, dang it. By the way, today's the day after graduation, which was the last video you guys watched. So right now we're just checking out Chow's injuries. This is Chow, by the way. Hey, what's up? A member of the swim team. One of the fastest swimmers on the team. We call him the Chink Flash. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Look at that, right there, it gets deep. It gets deep right there. So Chow was like on his boosted board today, coming to the bus, and he just straight up crashed and like ran into some rocks. Like literally today, that sucks. All right, so I'm rooming with Chow and Griffin. The meet starts in a couple hours, so I'ma shave my legs, cause I didn't get to do that yeah, before. Show your leg. I had a meet last week, and I got to shave this leg, but I didn't have enough time to shave this one, so this one's like really hairy, and then this one's not. So I'ma just shave everything right now. There you oh, go. Oh shit. We about to break into K shaving. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> he was supposed to have a suit on. Suit on. At least come in when I'm shaving. All right, what's up, my quesadilla? So I just shaved. My legs are. My legs are crispy clean now. Ow. So yeah, the meat starts now. So we gotta go now. You're stupid. It starts at four, dumbass. Oh, never mind. But we gotta go sometime in the near future. So next time you see us, I'm gonna be at the swim pool. All right, what's going on, my quesadilla? So we are here at the pool, the Veteran Memorial Aquatic Center VMAC. It's one of the nicest pools in Colorado. So yeah, this should be fun. All right, so what's up, my quesadillas? We warmed up and we just did our first race, the 200 medley relay. That's basically when someone goes 50. It's a 50 of every single stroke. It's a 50 of every single stroke, basically. First is back, then breast, then fly, then free. I'm personally a butterflyer, so I went to fly for it. Honestly, uh... He sucked. Yeah, it did not go so well. First of all, I forgot to tie my suit, so, um, yeah, my pants fell off. I dove in, it kind of just all fell off. And it wasn't even, like, just a little butt crack showing. It was, like, the whole butt sack just hanging out. So, yeah, not the best race. My split was a 26. I probably could have won a 23. Honest mistake. I'm glad they didn't disqualify me because usually I would get disqualified, like, if I... Because I pulled my pants up, like, underwater, which is usually a DQ. I don't know how I did it, so I guess we're still in the race, kind of. Maybe we'll get finals. I don't no. But yeah, the next race is a 200 free relay, which is the same thing as what I just said, except everyone's just doing freestyle and um. He's gonna yeah. try and go 22 flat. I'm gonna try to go 22 seconds on that. And then we got a 400 free relay, which is basically each person does 100 this time. And I'm gonna try to break 50 seconds in my 100 of that, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. So I have a little bit of time before my race, so we're just chilling up here where the parents are sitting. But yeah, I mean, it's a pretty big place, so uh, yeah, a lot of people saw my butt sack. Right, what's up, my quesadilla? So right now we're outside Bad Daddy's Burger Bar. Boom, biggity, bow. This place is packed. So yeah, the meet ended. We just hit up the hotel and now we're here. Honestly, I did pretty good. After the clip you saw at the swim meet, I did a 50 free in the 200 free relay. And then I did a 100 free in the 400 free relay. I did like a 22 second 50. And then I did a 51 second 100 free. So those are my best times so far. I mean, so that's, that's pretty good for a last meet. But yeah, I don't think we're going to make finals. So we're probably not going to come back tomorrow, which is good because I was hoping to just chill and, and have fun and vlog. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, now the fun part starts. We go back to the hotel. 
hotel. We're just gonna hang out and we're gonna vlog. It'll be lit. By the way, if you don't know how good those times are, I think an actual swimmer would say that's pretty good. But for a high school swimmer, that's definitely like pretty good. Nothing too crazy, but I mean, if you play Fortnite, let me like try to relate this to you. So a 2650 fly is really bad. I would say that's like top 75 in Fortnite. If I went my usual time, like a 23, that'd be like pretty good. That'd probably be like top 20 in Fortnite. I don't know, but a 22 second free would probably be like top 40 in Fortnite. I don't know, something like that. And then a 5100 free would be like, yeah, I think about that too, honestly. It's really hard to estimate with Fortnite, but uh, it's something like that. It's like decent. And my goggles fell off in the 100 free, so that kind of sucked. But I still managed to pull a 51 and beat my old score by three seconds. So pretty good for my goggles falling off. I just wish I could race without my goggles falling off or everyone seeing my butt sack. I don't know. All right, so now we just finished eating. We're gonna get in the hot tub now. It's chill. It's 11 now and it said the hot tub closes at 11, but I think we're the only ones here. So I think it's okay. New Javanji on my feet. I got three many haters. You could take a seat. Suicide doors go up. What's up guys? So we just snorted some perks. That was pretty lit. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway, everyone's pretty much falling asleep now. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about like my whole swim career because honestly no one knows about it because I don't talk about my swim life. But yeah, no, swimming has been a pretty fat part of my life. I started swimming since I was like born pretty much. You know, I was always like a club swimmer, pretty competitive, and I swam until I was 13 and I was living in Monterey at the time, California. And then I moved to Japan and then I just quit because I just got tired of it. And in Japan, I just wanted to do YouTube and dance. So that's what I did. And I got good at those things, but uh, you know, I wanted to get fit again. So this year, about four or five months ago, I picked swimming back up again and I joined my high school swim team. I've always like not liked swimming, but I'm pretty glad I got back into it because I've made some good friends and like the swim team's actually like pretty chill and it's keeping me fit. So, okay, so I used to be like kind of ugly, but then I started swimming and I kind of got a nice body. Like I used to be like plumpy, but now if a girl wants an ab pick, that's easy. And I honestly recommend you guys to swim too, because like it builds discipline and I don't know, it's kind of a nice healthy lifestyle. I guess. But yeah, if you're in high school and you don't really do anything, join high school swimming. It's pretty fun. Shall we? Yeah. 